Hello guys, what's going on? TA here. Today we're going to talk about another class of variables co called char. Actually, I think it's called car. No, I don't know. But I call it char. Char stands for character. And your guess is correct. Char variables are used to store text inside them. So, I think, um, oh yeah, hold on, I forgot. Um, be sure to include this header file. CSTDLIB. It basically means C standard library. We're just include that. I'm not going to explain anymore because um, it's harder to explain. So, um, okay, so let's start now. We will see these char variables in action. So, first, declare this um, a char variable. So, here's how you um, declare it. Char, um, let's make a word there. Now, as you can see, simply putting, the, um, simply declaring that kind of way will not work. If you're declaring a char variable, then you'll have to um, put two square brackets and then type in a number inside it. It bas you're basically entering the number of characters is going to be stored in the variable word. So let's put in the uh, 45. There we go. Now um, we're going to ask the user what word they want, and then we will print it, print it for them. So let's just ask the user, please, and um, enter a word, and then sin word. Now uh, to make um, stuff clear and cleaner. And then just see out a uh, um, word, and uh, there we go. Now let's run our program. Hope no errors and stuff. Mm -hmm. Takes um, kind of long to to compile. And there we go. So let's enter a word like um, uh, hamburger. And bam, it says hamburger. Press the key to continue. So that's basically the class char. It's simple as that. So if you want to store um, letters inside it, just use the variable char. So bye.